This is picturesque Monaco in Monte Carlo, the most famous Grand Prix of the motor racing season, and jewel in the crown of... The drivers are lined up on the grid now, preparing themselves for the start. The red lights are beginning to come on. And they're off! Ouch! He's hit truly! Streaming down for the first quarter. What was that? Are you all right? Well, I think the following car just couldn't break in time and ended up hitting his rear. A bit of dodgem cars going on out on the track today. It's Salo! That was a bit of a scrape along the Armco. He's got through, past Verstappen. Of course, as the laps go on, these little potential opportunities that are not really on become greater and greater in their minds. Sooner or later, someone's going to think, I can do it, have a lunge, and the chances are they won't be able to, and end up tangling with the car in front or even going into the barrier. It looks like there was a coming together there. Into lap two now. He really is having to break very heavily there. He'll be wanting to hold on to his position for dear life now because it'll mean all important championship points. He was actually going faster than the race leader over the first section of the course. Oh dear. He's collided with Irvine. Race order. In first place, Michael Schumacher. In second position, Gerhard Berger. In third, Heitz Harold Frenson. In fourth place, Williams number one. Hang on. He's actually up on the leader's time at split two. Hang on. He's hit the Canadian. He really is acquitting himself exceptionally well despite his lack of experience. That's a Tyrrell! Just a touch of the barrier, that shouldn't slow him down. Three laps of the race left now. He's closing the gap in front. I cannot believe it! Well, I hope both the drivers are uninjured after that one. He's just hit Frenson! With the 107% rule of the past couple of years, we're seeing that the tail end teams have had to sharpen up their act and spend longer making sure they can do competitive time. This means that the gap between the qualifying time from the front to the back of the grid is now much less. He's just hit Frenson! Exceptional! He's got through to third! Excellent second split, faster than the race leader. I think they may have had a bit of a bump there, Martin. That's up into second. He's only got two laps to go. His lap time is quicker than the car he's chasing. And the gap is closing.
There's only a small gap between them now. The car in front will really be feeling the pressure. He really is having to brake very heavily there. He's hit Michael Schumacher. the last lap of the race he's closing the gap in front he's taken the lead I'm looking at the race order now in first, Mika Salo second, Michael Schumacher in third, Gerhard Berger in fourth, Heitz Harold Frensen in fifth, Johnny Herbert in sixth, Giancarlo Fisichella. <laughs> Salo! That was definitely a knock on the barrier. a Tyrrell. There didn't seem to be anything he could do to stop himself ploughing into that barrier. And there is the chicken flag. <laughs>